Have you ever saved a document to read later only to lose track of it? As an all-in-one Read It Later app, Reader has a powerful full-text search to make it easy to find the document you need when you need it. But we know there may be instances where you want to go beyond one-off search and organize your documents into larger, more permanent collections. In this video, I'm going to teach you two ways to organize your documents in Reader, as well as how to share collections of documents with others. If you're an avid RSS subscriber, you can group various feeds into folders for easier navigation. To create a new RSS folder, head to the Manage Feeds page and click on Create New Folder from this drop-down menu. Once your RSS folder is created, it will appear in this right-hand sidebar. From here, you can drag and drop other feeds into this folder. You can use these folders to process a subset of feeds or individual feeds at a time. In the mobile app, you can view your RSS folders by opening your feed and tapping this button. The other more flexible way to organize your documents in Reader is through Filtered Views. Filtered View is a custom subset of documents based on any combination of attributes, such as author, tag, format type, and more. For example, all these default views in your Reader account, such as PDFs and videos, are just filtered views based on document type. On your home screen, you'll also find filtered views based on document length, day added, and reading progress. Once you learn how to create your own filtered views, you're going to be able to customize the look and feel of your reader account and unlock powerful workflows. I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious. Let's start off with a simple filtered view using a single attribute. I'll give you a personal example. As I was preparing to film this onboarding series, I saved a lot of tutorials on how to script and film a great video, which I tagged video skills. Rather than try to individually search for all of these videos and pull up a ton of tabs, I can just click on this tag and Reader will round up every single document that I've tagged video skills. From here, I can save this filter view and it will be pinned to my sidebar. If the specific tag you're looking for isn't readily accessible in your list view, you can also click on Manage Tags. From this page, you can create a new filtered view or assign other tags to an existing view. What I just demonstrated was how to make a filter view based on tags, but you can do this with any other attribute too. For example, if you discover you really like one author and want to see what else you save from them, you can click on the author name in the metadata panel. All right, so at this point you might be thinking, Tell me why Well, at first glance, filter views may look more complicated than the traditional folders you're used to, I promise you the long-term benefits far outweigh this momentary learning curve. Unlike a traditional filing system, filter views are far more flexible. For example, if you move a document into a traditional folder, it can only exist in that location. If you want that document to exist in multiple folders for different projects, you have to duplicate it, leading to multiple copies and unnecessary clutter. One of the key advantages to filter views is that a single document can exist in multiple locations at once. Another advantage of filtered views is that they update automatically. Whereas traditional folders require you to manually add and remove documents, you can set up your filtered views so that documents are automatically added or removed when certain criteria are met. Here's a more advanced example that shows just how powerful filtered views can be. I recently started a newsletter where I talk about building online communities. I wanted to start sharing a weekly roundup of interesting things I've read or watched on community building and internet trends. A filter view can help me pick up what to feature each week and speed up my writing process. Just like the filter view we created earlier, I'm going to start this view using a tag. Right now, this will pull in any document I've added to my account using the tag community building. Additionally, I'm only interested in seeing documents I was highly engaged with. So I'm going to add this parameter, which will filter for documents that have greater than or equal to five highlights. You can learn about all the filter parameters available to you in our filtering guide linked below. Lastly, I only want to see documents that I finished reading and sent to archive, so I'll add a location parameter here too. Alright, this looks good to me. To recap, this query is going to pull on documents that have been tagged community building, that I've highlighted five or more times, and that have been archived. You'll notice I'm using AND queries to combine these statements, but if you're more flexible, you can use OR statements instead. Let's see if this works. All right, as you can see, this filter view has pulled a collection of documents based on my criteria that I might want to summarize in this week's newsletter. As I mentioned earlier, any new views you create will be automatically pinned to your sidebar on desktop. On mobile, you can see your filtered views by opening search. You can also add a counter badge, which will tell you how many documents you have in your view. You can also adjust your split view, which will show you where in your reader account your documents exist. If your filter view includes feed items, you can set your split view to scene status. 
If your filter view includes items in your library, you can set your split view to location to see which documents are in your inbox, later, or archive. If your filter view contains both feed and library items, you can set your split view to none to see all documents at once. One of the biggest advantages of filtered views is that they let you further personalize your home screen. For example, I'm going to pin this newest view to my home screen and rearrange a few others. To manage your views, head to the Manage Views page. Here, you can rename views, modify filtered queries, unpin views from the sidebar, and delete or create new filtered views. Last but not least, if you have a collection of documents you think others would appreciate, you can share it using our bundles feature. To create a public bundle, simply open your filter view and click create public link. From here, you can add a nice header image and we'll create a custom landing page for your filtered view. Friends can either open the original documents or if they have their own reader account, they can subscribe to your bundle and receive any existing and new documents you add to that filtered view. There's a lot of great use cases for bundles. For example, you can use bundles to share a set of onboarding documents with a new colleague, industry research with a business partner, or required readings for a class. In order to protect your privacy, your bundle will only include the documents in your filtered view at time of link creation. This means that if you add new documents later on that you want to share, you should refresh this link. The URL will stay the same, but this will ensure anyone you've shared the bundle with previously will see the new documents you've added since. All right, so that's how you can further customize the look and feel of your reader account using RSS folders and filtered views. As a reminder, we have a full team of developers who are constantly working to improve Reader as well as a super responsive support team. If you need help customizing your own filtered view, you can use our in-app feedback tool to ask for help and one of our concierge support members will assist you. Thanks so much for watching and happy reading!